that one needs to make an impact on the whole situation, not just holler and shout, and scream and cry. I felt that what he was talking about is basically what I'd been into all along to, uh, you know, basically in defense of the vulnerable, of the exploited and the dominated. And the animals were on the bottom of the entire heap and they were unable to mobilize in defense of their own interests. So it was up to us to do it for them. The reason we thought this was a good campaign was because it was a sure winner. Uh, the museum had, has to be concerned with the image it projects. Uh, people don't expect this sort of thing to be happening at the museum. You're dealing with cats and kittens who are considered part of the household. It opened up an entire era of cooperation between the so-called business community and the animal rights group. When the U.S. Department of Agriculture saw the public response, they became enormously responsive. And not only did they stop the expansion, but they also stopped the entire program of face branding. Everyone wants to feel that one's life is amounted to more than consuming products and generating garbage. And I think one likes to be able to look back and say that they, one's done the best one can to make this a better place for others. And one can look at it from the point of view of what greater motivation can there be in, in a person's life than do everything one possibly can to reduce pain and suffering. <laughs>